You mentioned that you worked uh, with Rick Rubin. What do you think it is about Rick Rubin that allows him to come up with such incredible projects? You know what, man? Um, I remember when I started working with Rick, everybody told me he's a control freak. Dude, you got to watch out, man. Rick Rubin's going to come in, he's going to take over your project. That is bullshit. That, nothing could be further from the truth. Um, Rick Rubin is, is hands-off while being hands-on, if that makes any sense. I remember um, I didn't know who Rick was, and I remember, um, I believe it was radio, LL Cool J, when he said, and I'm cold getting paid because Rick said so. I'm like, wait a minute, he didn't say Russell. Who's Rick? And that's when I started really checking Rick out. Rick's a music cat to the core, and I don't mean hip-hop. That cat loves rock. The cat produced a Johnny Cash record. I mean, Chris Rock stuff. All, he's all over the place. Slayer, Mix-A-Lot, Chino XL. I mean, Public Enemy. And Rick Rubin, to me, is the last of the true CEOs that love music. Most CEOs now are bean counters that happen to own music companies or happen to run music companies. Rick Rubin is a, is a music guy first. He counts his beans, don't get it twisted, but he's a music lover first. And Rick Rubin taught me more about imaging, about branding, about the importance, the importance of never abandoning that brand. He taught me more about that without even knowing he did it than anybody ever did, ever. In my life, going from an independent, I was, I was, I was a successful independent artist. I had made a lot of money independently, but going from there to Rick, and no offense to anything before that, but wow, it was like, and that, some of the things he taught me, I apply right now, even to my business. I have a, a tech company I'm running and a few other things, and some of the things he taught me then, I apply to life right now, and they still work. I'm trying to battle John Cena. Can somebody find John Cena's management? WWE, somebody find John Cena and let's make this happen. So let's be super honest here and I'm gonna be really frank and a little uncouth. I'm not gonna suck a dick unless I'm gonna do it great. I'm not gonna write a book unless I'm gonna do it great. I'm not gonna cook a meal unless I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do any, I'm not gonna touch anything unless I plan on doing it better than anyone else you've ever met in your entire life.